The Senate Minority Leader, Senator Inaya Abaribe, on Tuesday asked the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to stop abridging the rights of Nigerians to free speech and arbitrary enforcement of laws it does not have. In a statement by the Senator's media advisor, Uchinna Awam, in Abuja, he said the commission breached Section 39 of the 1999 Constitution. He pointed out that the section says every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression, including freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. Senator Barabi urged the stations to head to court. The Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria, BON, has asked the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, to immediately withdraw the sanction it placed on, NB on the AIT, Arise TV and Channels Television. The chairman of BON, Sa Ibrahim, said that NBC did not follow due process before sanctioning the television stations. He asked the NBC to issue a formal query to each of the stations and give the stations time to respond before the application of sanctions. Joining us live is Dikpo Olayoko, a public affairs analyst. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Olayoko. Yeah, good morning. How are you? A lot of people, including, of course, uh, the BON uh, chairman, has uh, condemned the NBC fine. What is your take? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, there's a need for us to separate uh, the issues. We have the NBC fine, and then we have uh, following the due process. Uh, the, there's no member of BON who is uh, operating under the NBC and NBC code that will say that NBC doesn't have the right or the power to sanction any media house. I think what uh, the BON is trying to say is uh, that the NBC follow the due process. That's why I said there's a need for us to separate the two issues. Uh, if you go through Section 38, I saw the Decree 38 of 1992, that set up the NBC. Uh, if you read down, you will see the powers of the NBC. First of all, you have the functions. Because when you want to apply for the license to operate, you apply to the NPC. And then NPC will make a recommendation to the minister, through to the president, through the minister. But if you go further, the NBC has the right to sanction. And uh, it says that NBC will have the power to sanction. Because apart from having the power to regulate and control, it also has the power to sanction. Even to the extent of even uh, withdrawing the size license that you are using to broadcast. I think uh, what people should be concerned is the, the NBC follow the due process. I think uh, that one is not in contention that they have the power to sanction. Okay, let me but let's hear your thoughts on, the, on the, the process the NBC followed and uh, your thoughts on um, you know their action so far. Um, I think it has been established that they do have the right to sanction. Um, but do you agree that they follow due process? And do you also agree with the thoughts of people saying the NBC is uh, trying to stifle free speech? At least you guys, I don't know, you, you guys have received, you must have received it because they're always sending uh, the queries and stuff, especially during election, when you have crisis like what we just witnessed under the answer protest. Uh, that's the time when the maturity and then professionalism are uh, expected to come to play in the terms, in terms of broadcasting and stuff like that. So uh, at situations like that, you, you always receive query from NBC. That is the normal procedure. Then you are expected to explain why you didn't do this why you did this and uh, it is only after then that uh, they can sanction but it is not the sanction that we confess because yeah somebody has done it i was once a victim of this thing uh, because uh, there was a program i was producing on the television station sometimes in 2002 before the 2003 election uh, we had we interviewed the uh, one guy on our program the former that's the master uh, uh, leader that's uh it was Rike. only for nbc to summon me as the producer of the program to abuja and they said I should come with the tape. Uh -huh. So definitely there must be fair hearing. They asked me to come to Abuja with the tape of that tradition. I went to Abuja and I was able to defend us because the guy who anchored the program on that day countered uh, what um, Wazurike said. So because when Wazurike said they would not allow 2003 to, election to hold in any of the Biafra territory. And the guy who anchored the program said, you have what it takes to stop an election. That was our saving grace. So I, I think in whatever we are doing, a uh, situation like what happened in the past three weeks requires uh, professionalism 
require say, self-censorship. Yes, some of us outside, we saw it, that many of the broadcast house didn't observe this. But even at like that, you cannot convince them until uh, you subject them to what they call fair uh, trial. I think that's what uh, Bonn bon is talking about. Bonn is a member of uh, all media houses, especially television and the radio. Sorry, they are all uh, members of BON, Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria. So Bonn is expected to protect the interests of its members. So that's exactly what Bonn is doing. Do you agree the with NBC the, you agree with the yeah. hold on, Mr. Laika, do you agree with the NBC that the media houses um, escalated the violence uh, through their um, reports and their coverage? Yes, there's a need for us to look at the history of uh, independent broadcast houses in Nigeria. When in 1992, the president of uh, Major General Ibrahim Babangida wanted to liberalize the broadcast industry. They knew that there was the need for them to push some checks and balances. That's why they had called it NDC Code, Section 30, Digital 38 of 1992. It was amended in 1999, and then some other section in 2004. They have always been subjected to periodic uh, reforms, so to speak. So what is expected, uh, there's a need for us to because with some of us, we get carried away in the heat of doing our job. Let, let me give you an example of why there should be what they call self-censorship. During the 2001 uh, broadcast that they called 9 11 in America, we were in the newsroom of MBI television. For weeks, we have been watching it, everybody was watching. One of our top uh, uh, members of the newsroom said, he said, Did you notice that since the uh, Fox, uh, Sky, CNN, have been showing this American bombing. They have never shown the body of an American being pulled out of the rubble. I said, come on, okay, really. He said, like, you are right, too. So about two weeks later, I was involved in the training program. Then the CNN guy, the BBC guy came. Then I put the question to the guy. Come, you guys were just telling us 1,000, 3,000. You never pulled out a body of an American from the rubble. He said, no broadcast house will do it in America. Because it is going to affect the sensibility of an average American if you are bringing out the dead body. So nobody will tell you as a, broadcast, as a broadcaster not to do it. That's what they call self-censorship. So in times like that, crisis, um, election time, there is expected to be some self-censorship on the part of practitioners. But unfortunately, we didn't see. That's why you notice that when elections are being held, when you have the authentic results, I'm just digressing a bit. Yeah, because because in the interest of time, we 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 don't have all the time to uh, go you know in all those directions. I, I really just want to get if you agree with the NBC that these media organizations um, escalated uh, the violence and the tension across the country. Do you agree? Willingly or unwittingly, or wittingly, you could by the time by the style of your reportage. Are you getting the point? Because when, well, let us just, this, this as an example, the issue of looting that has now become like nationwide now. The moment you report it, and somebody in Zungle, Zungeru, or somebody in Taraba sees it happening in Lagos, that is why self-censorship is very, very necessary when you are reporting situations like that. But you know, as a media house, you, one of the responsibilities is to bring the information to the people undiluted, and then as they always say. So you are now torn between performing, performing your function and then between national security. Uh, those are the issues that are, uh, that are and that is where, that's why I said self-censorship, maturity, restraint, and caution comes into play at times when you are reporting situations like this. Because whatever you want to report can aggravate the already uh, tense situation. But what is there is, the, the onus is more on practitioners. There should be self-censorship more than even being sanctioned by the regulatory agencies. I think that one is more important. That is why right. there's what they call editorial judgment. At times, when issues like this come up, should we put it on here? What do we do? Uh, you know, in some places, they will say, not for broadcast, or they will say, you will even put some people on notice that what we're about to broadcast, I'm just to tell you how you can do the correction of this thing. What we're about to put out right, will um, be offensive to some sensibilities. So please be guided. Very much. But even above all, I think national security should be more important and more paramount. Mr. Olaiko, thank you so much. Um, that's all the time that we have um, on this conversation. Thank you for sharing with us. Um, and we hope that we can also bring you in again as quickly as possible. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.